concerned about it. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you raised the question in my mind. If you're testing it statewide, how else it is, why do I not get that in the data I get when I do an open records request to this city? We aren't testing as frequently as we were before. Before we were doing it uh, quarterly, we were doing a monthly quarterly, I can't recall. But uh, we are scheduled to do it semi-annually now. Uh, that test, so Scott should have one scheduled to be. That's uh, statewide. Okay, that hasn't been in any of the data you sent since last year. I don't think I don't believe we've done one since then. Okay, we, thank you. We'll, we'll do one, the one scheduled about every six months or something. Okay. I also have another question, which is, given that the state has now put up this uh, water quality portal, will you be sending your data to them so it will appear on the state's website, state of Georgia? Uh, all we're sending to the state of Georgia right now is what our permit mandates for us to send them. So we're just trying to get through. We, really, the testing that we're doing is so burdensome right now because of what happened. You know, we, we literally have employees that are working 110 hours doing a normal 80 hour work cycle. So we had to reduce the amount of testing that we were doing. We just couldn't sustain it. With the, uh, with the amount of folks, but you know, we're doing the test. We had a plenty of baseline data there at the state line, so we felt that we could reduce the frequency of those tests until we get through. You know, those tests that we're required to do as a result of what happened in December, we have to do those for 365 days. Mm -hmm. So as those start to fall off the books, it will give us more latitude to do some of that non-mandatory testing. And uh, so we'll pick back up on some of that testing after we met the state requirements.